So what is there to say about Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, the full collector's edition, without spoiling the story and without going into elements of it? Well, it definitely is something that will stick out on your shelf as being massively out of place and way huger than everything else. I had to turn the camera sideways just to even fit this in the frame at all, and it still didn't fully fit. But guys, this is Dark Knight 3 The Master Race, the full collector's edition, all nine issues, uh, including the slipcase. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what's in here, what the difference is between the original Dark Knight 3, uh, without really talking much about the story at all here. I'm probably going to do a story review at a different time. So as you can see, thing's massive. It's really, really huge, and it has artwork on it calling back to the original Dark Knight Returns, written by Frank Miller. So this was done by Frank Miller, Azarello, uh, Andy Kubert, Klaus Janssen, you know the drill, it's Dark Knight 3. Uh, they really tried to harken back to the original Dark Knight, uh, not only in just the slipcase cover here, but also in the entire cover, or I mean in all of the covers combined. And they do a pretty good job of uh, giving, uh, what would you say, I don't want to say a circle jerk, but kind of, to the original Dark Knight Returns. It's very deserved, but they really are appealing to it pretty hard here. Uh, I have basketball hands, so you can see the size of this thing compared to my hand alone. Uh, it's massive. This definitely isn't going anywhere, and it's really, really freaking heavy once you put all the books in. But, something I wanted to show off was, uh, they, they had this insert over here that uh, really had, uh, it was just a space filler, so I pulled that out. And then, every single issue has these covers, illustrated by Jim Lee, which are shaded, but not completely. And they're all callbacks to the original DKR from different scenes from that graphic novel, like the Joker here. Uh, we also have Batman fighting the Joker. Um, we have Batman fighting Superman. So you can see all of these are references, but none of them really affect what's going on here other than providing a backdrop. Something interesting to note uh, is that you need to be very careful putting these in. Um, I had a page bend on accident when I was trying to put it in and wasn't try I was trying to look through the camera as well. But yeah, so one of the main differences here between the original and this is that the mini comics are actually now full-fledged, uh, full-sized comic books in this version. They're not mini comics anymore, they're full-sized pages, and that's it. That's the main difference here other than it being hardcover. So really, what this is for is people who really love the Miller Dark Knight universe. It, I wouldn't say it's for really anyone else. Um, it's for people like me where this is one of our favorite versions of Batman. And I think the story itself is very good. I didn't find it disappointing at all. I thought it actually lived up to the legacy of DKR. It's nowhere near as good as DKR was because you're not going to match that like ever. That was like catching lightning in a bottle in my opinion. But it's pretty much the next best thing. And it is leaps and bounds above the quality of DK2 strikes again. So anyway guys, let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is cool? Do you think it's just way too huge? I mean the thing felt like it weighed 20 pounds uh, once I put all the books in here. But I appreciate you guys. I'll be talking to you later. Peace.